Peace you too, this Rush One again. I want to talk to you about why, if you have a spiritual awakening or after you have a spiritual, spiritual awakening, like the black people say in street terms, you about to bow. <laughs> you finna bow out. You finna do more than bow. You finna have what you want. You finna have a car, house, your own business and more so you finna ball out <laughs> you gonna do more than ball it's something you gonna manifest it so easily in your life afterward you gonna look back on the past and you gonna say wow I, at this point in my spiritual awakening I, I didn't see nothing I didn't see no light at the end of the tunnel See, you got to trust the universe because the universe got your best interest. Your spirit guide got your best interest. You know, source got your best interest. You about to bow out. See, when you first going through your spiritual awakening, when you're beginning or in the early stages of it, the matrix going to strip you of everything. Probably you probably lose your job. The person you were dating don't want to date you no more. Uh, the people you live with probably kick you out because you are not bringing in income no more. But it's all part of a divine plan. And you got more than purpose here. You got more than purpose. You can look around and you'll see a lot of lost people and people who can't find their way inside this matrix. See, that's not you. And sometimes they, if you go to these doctors and stuff like, yeah, they gonna die, they gonna diagnose you with something. Cause these doctors, they get big, they get kickbacks from the big pharmaceutical companies. They gonna misdiagnose you. All, all you need is time for your spiritual, physical, and how to, you know, balance out. But like I said, you're going to ball, <laughs> like the black people say in street terms, you is going, going to ball. <laughs> you're going to more than ball. You're going to have more than you ever thought you can have. Your life is going to be 20 times better. If I would have knew that, I would have made, let the process be more easier and just went through it. I kind of, the ego gonna fight. The ego is gonna fight. Cause it's been there so long and you know, it, the ego good and bad. See, the ego gonna protect you too. The ego gonna have your guard, gonna make you have your guard up. Ego attached to your personality, but once you awaken, you don't go by ego. You go our heart frequency and the, you know, synchronicity and deja vu and all this stuff that happen in an awakened person's life. But like I said, you gonna buy, you gonna have a car, you gonna have a house, you gonna have mates if you want them. You gonna have a, or enough money. You gonna have electronic stuff. You gonna find stuff on sale more than anybody. You gonna find money, like just on the ground. All that. And if I would know that early in my spiritual journey, I, I wouldn't have never fought the process. But we all live and we learn. You will get there. If you're not manifesting right now, you won't get there. Don't worry about it. Got to climb the ladder one step at a time. But like I said, you're going to buy, you're going to have a new model car, you're going to have a house, you have electronic devices, you're going you gonna to have it all, whatever you desire. Whatever you desire, you Focus, put your focus and attention on you're gonna manifest in your reality. Once you learn that, it, it, 
become more easier. It's all a, 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 a hologram, illusion, illusion, simulation, 3D game that you gotta win. But that's another topic. But like I said, you gonna ball out like Jordan and shit and, and Steph Curry. You're going to be the movie star in this story. And everybody going to understand you the awakened person. You ain't about game. But I'm finna end this uh, video. Peace out.